I'm Casey Stahl. Uh, I was the designer on the Omega Aquatics Amphibian Dynamic Scoop. I am Diana Hunsaker. I'm a sales representative with GLS Corporation. We had two main issues. We had the hinge mechanism was a big issue. We, in order for it to flip up, we had to uh, be able to have a user interface that was very intuitive and easier to use. Uh, we were pushing for a hands-free operation. And we also had to make sure that everything, you know, when we were using springs in the development, that they were military-grade stainless steel because of salt water, uh, environmental temperature issues that all affected the materials for that. And our second one was a rigidity versus flexibility issue because the fin just needed certain areas of it to be rigid to give the correct kick and to propel the water through. And then it also needed to be flexible enough uh, to scoop that water to give you the propulsion. And if its fin is too stiff, uh, a diver gets really tired very quickly and because you, you use up a lot of oxygen also and you don't get a dive as long. The design firm, Casey Stahl, the designer, uh, gave me a call, let me know he was working on um, what he considered to be an exciting new project, um, something that he said was going to be you know, new and different in the industry. And uh, did I have some time to talk to him? And of course I said yes. So I went out and met with him, and we uh, we discussed the design. They had some CAD drawings and some you know ideas. They'd done some development before bringing me in. Uh, they had settled on using a polypropylene for the rigid part of the fin, and he wanted to know you know what type of TPEs GLS could offer that would chemically bond to that polypropylene specifically. Um, we went over the environment the fin would be in, the fact that it would be outdoors. Um, we would need some UV resistance. We would need some chemical bonding to that polypropylene, like I said. It would need to be fairly resistant to being beat up, <laughs> since divers aren't always the most careful people in the world. We ended up doing that because we really didn't want to rely on just a mechanical bond. We wanted a higher quality product. We wanted something that was going to have a longer life. And we didn't want somebody to be able to rip them. Um, they're going to be paying upwards of $200 for a pair of fins, they need to, to last. And so the chemical bonding between that gave them a lot longer life cycle and it overall just a higher quality of product. Once it got to the actual injection molder to start running the product, um, they ran into some processing issues. So myself and one of our applications engineers went out there and helped them through some processing. Um, our applications engineer is real good with um, being able to tweak designs to get materials to run well. So he gave them some suggestions. They increased some wall thicknesses to get some better bonding. And um, in the end, came out with what I think is a really good product.